So this uh, a tough gaming uh, laptop. Model number is a TUF five zero six IU dash ES seven four. Customer tried I think to uh, replace the screen. So the customer tried to replace a screen in this laptop and uh, he got uh, no backlight. So let's check uh, why is there is no backlight. So you can see the screen is cracked. But this is what I want to see. So I'm going to push power button. Watch this corner here. You're going to see a little lines. Another angle. Take it right here. Yeah, you see that lines? That's telling you there is some signal going to the screen. That's a good point. But there is no backlight, of course. After I removed this piece here, and yeah, we check the connector to see if any damage on the connector, any broken wire. Shut I again. Yeah, still uh, no uh, backlight. So this is the, the bed screen. This came with the laptop. And this is the fuse here. And it said backlight power. And the screen. Yeah, this fuse here, it said backlight power. So from, from this fuse, you're going to check here to see where is the backlight connector. It's here. So the first three pins here, that's the backlight connector. You can see the trace here is going in the board or is going the other side of the board. That's the connector, and the other side, it's here. Yep, it's going to here. There is two capacitors here. Yeah, that's the ground side. And, oh, this is a fuse or... A This big choice here is so this not a ground and this trace this big trace is not a ground. So it's supposed to be this trace is a 19 volt that's going everywhere to the board. So I'm gonna replace this fuse at the same time we need to check if there is any short to the ground. No short to the ground.
let's connect the computer to the power connect the screen first be sure when you want to plug the screen the battery is disconnected the power supply the charger is disconnected so no power going to the computer when you want to replace the screen or do any work to the screen so let's and push the power button this side here yeah you can see some that's a keyboard light so let's check the voltage and the backlight connector the first pin here we have 20 volt so that's good and I'm using the cracked screen just to test to be sure that uh, the backlight work before we switch to the new screen so let's check here we have 20 volt the other side of the fuse we have 20 volt on the screen Yep, I well, have the backlight. You can see it. So it works. Yeah, you can see the backlight here. And be careful, this, you see this one? is a conductive. This tape here. If it's stretched somewhere, make sure it's something else. So just be careful to this... Uh, to these things when you are replacing the screen. So let's put a new screen and see if that's gonna work. So disconnect the new screen, old screen. So this is a new screen that the customer sent with the phone. This seller like, I don't know, glued uh, the screen with uh, this cardboard. That's a bad idea. How are you gonna check the screen yeah, it's, it's glued here. Yeah, do you want to blame the, the buyer from cracking screen? Yep, you can see it's, yeah, this is adhesive. You shouldn't do that. If they want to put the adhesive, they should put like just a little piece. Not all this. It's too much. And if you try to hurry and you check the screen, you may get it cracked. Yep, the connector is the same. Yeah, be sure that the connector is all the way in. Not one side is, uh, and we're gonna put, we cover this connector, so we don't want nothing to be touched here. Yeah, we don't want to. There's a conductive tape to touch the. Everything looks good. Let's plug it. Push the power button. And we wait for the display. Yeah, the computer takes a little bit long time to boot. Yep, we have the screen. Because the battery is not uh, connected, that's why it takes a long time to boot. So the backlight works, and uh, you can see it's loading now. Yeah, it works. I don't think this is a touch screen. 
Yes. Finish putting the computer together and uh, So I put the computer together and the screen worked perfect. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching. We will see you again.